This is our networking video part two, PC configuration. Here's where we're starting out. Everything should be physically hooked up. And now on the computer, click Start. Go to Control Panel and click it. And double click Network Connections. And we're looking for the local area connection. So right click it and click Properties. And find the where it says TCP IP. Highlight it and click Properties. Now here's one of those differences between using a router and not using a router. If you are not using a router, you have to enter in your own IP address. Now if you enter in exactly what you see here, it will be fine. Now the details of what will work and what won't work, we're actually not going to get into. But one last thing to remember is this last number here is actually the computer's number. So when we do this step on the prototrack, this number has to be different. I actually am using a router, so I'm going to click Obtain IP Address Automatically, and then click OK. So go ahead and close out of these screens here. The next step is to create a shared folder onto our PC so we can load files directly into our prototrack. So go ahead and click on Start. Go to My Computer. And I'm actually going to create this folder in the C drive. You can create it wherever you'd like, in the desktop or wherever. Uh, I'm going to go up here to File and New and click Folder. You can name this file whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it Share. Now right click on your folder you just created, go down to Properties, and go into the Sharing tab. Now come down here and check the box where it says Share this folder on the network. Now you can actually change the name of this folder if you'd like. I'm just going to keep it the same. Now and also make sure that the second box here, Allow Network Users to Change Files, is checked. Now go up to the General tab and make sure read only is unchecked and hit OK. Now you'll notice here that the icon on the folder has changed and it's telling us that it's now a shared folder. Now over here on the desktop I've actually put this program ballbar.pt4 I'm going to drag it into my new shared folder and later when we test our network connection I'm actually going to go into this folder from my SX and open this file. Well that's it for this video. On our next video we're going to go into SX configuration. But as always, if you have any questions, please call our service department at 1-800-367-3165.